What's going on guys? So in front of me, you were looking at a beautiful 2020 Ram 3500 crew cab dually four wheel drive truck. This truck is complete with the max tow package, a 410 rear gearing. It has the high output 6.7 liter Cummins diesel engine, as well as the Ison six speed transmission. 400 horsepower, 1000 pound feet of torque. This thing is absolutely amazing and you're not gonna wanna miss this video. So hang tight, I'll be right back. So first of all, you have to admire just the sheer size of this truck. Incredibly long truck. It's just as long as mine, but for some reason, it just seems longer. Maybe it's that beautiful deep red color. I mean, they had to send it to me in this beautiful deep red color with these blacked out wheels. The wheels, in my opinion, it's kind of subjective in terms of how I feel about them. I'd love to know your opinion. What do you think about the blacked out wheels? They have the little brushed aluminum accents in them, very Alcoa style wheels. They, in my opinion, look a little better when they're chrome or when they're shiny but i know a lot of people like this real blacked out look but i'd love to know what you all feel about them anyways this is such a gorgeous truck eight and a half foot bed in this specific truck which i absolutely love they provided me with the thirty thousand pound mopar kurt manufactured plug-in hitch so this is the puck system hitch it has the widest base of really any of them that I've seen. Perhaps that's one of the reasons why their specific hitch assembly has the highest towing capacity in terms of a fifth wheel puck style attachment. Very, very cool. So some of the really nice things about this specific truck is that it does have the Laramie package. So it is a luxury trim package. But what's really nice about that is you're not paying for the much higher spec limited package. You're saving some money and you're getting a very, very capable truck with just about every luxury feature I think most people would want. Now it's lacking one luxury feature, which I am very glad that it's lacking because I'm not a big fan of, but this is my own personal preference. And that's a sunroof. I love the fact that this truck does not have a sunroof and you guys know my history with sunroofs. I'm just not a big fan of them. Now, the blackout trimming, the blackout emblems and all that stuff, the grill, I think it looks absolutely fantastic blacked out there. I just wish the wheels were like a brushed aluminum or something that was shinier. As far as the front grill, love the LED accent lights that they put around it, LED headlights, LED fog lights. The front grill looks absolutely amazing blacked out. I think that is a very bold, aggressive look to it. But I can arguably say, I think the Ram truck is the prettiest, most handsome, most beautiful looking heavy duty truck on the market. I don't think either Chevy or Ford really hold a candle to this except for maybe the GMC truck. I think the GMC truck is also a very beautiful truck. And it's probably just because, you know, Ford has kind of worn on me a little bit in terms of the overall look. It's probably time they freshen it up a little bit more. I do like the 2020 model, but I have to honestly say, I like the look of this better. Now, one thing I would love to see, and I really hope Ram is listening to me, make this in a 4500 series. This pickup truck, exactly as it sits, 19 and a half inch Alcoa's, 19 and a half inch tires with the big fatty fender up front for wide track turning in a 4500 series pickup truck or even better a 5500 series pickup truck complete with the air ride suspension i think that would be fantastic this does have the power deploying running boards which are really nice and convenient you'll notice that the ride height of this truck looks a little short to some people it looks a little low and that's because this truck has airbags already equipped where i can simply raise or lower the back with the airbags right now i have it in its lowest setting so the truck is pretty much completely level I think it looks good this way. I usually like a little rake in the back, easy enough to adjust from a switch up front. Your DEF fill nozzle is right here with the diesel fill nozzle. It has four main leaf springs, all LED lighting here in the back. You can see the Laramie badge blacked out, four wheel drive badge back here as well. I'm gonna drop the tailgate from the remote. This has the spray in bed liner. Again, it is equipped with the Mopar 30,000 pound rated puck system hitch. This is a Kurt manufactured product. This does have the bed lighting in it as well. You have your trailer connection right here, as well as your switch to turn the bed lighting on and off. One thing I really can appreciate right here is the fact that it has a nice step. So to crawl into the bed, it's as simple as propping that out and getting in the bed. It's actually a little easier to use than the Ford system. It's easier to get in 
It takes a little bit more concentrating getting out, of course, because you have to kind of see where that small step is. Then when you're done, just kick it out of the way. Tailgate is a very lightweight tailgate. Benefits from not having a step inside of it. Coming around, you have your camera right here. It's all blacked out right there as well. You have your tow plugs there, your seven-way connection as well. And then you have a two and a half inch trailer receiver here. I believe it's rated at 21,000 pounds. It might be slightly higher than that because I think they were trying to outdo Ford with that. Coming around here, one thing I absolutely love, and I've mentioned this before, is that they put a button here to lock the truck and then you just reach your hand in on the inside to unlock it, which I do like. On Ford, it's all touch sensitive, which means when you're spraying your truck down with water, if you're close to it, it's gonna be locking and unlocking your doors. It's kind of annoying, honestly. Then you can see the Nexen Rodian AT tires. Kind of an interesting tire brand they chose to go with. But I know Nexen is definitely becoming more popular in the OEM space. Let's go around back and take a look at the air leveling suspension. From back here, you can see those massive airbags. Again, already pre-installed by Ram at the factory. And these give you the ability to raise or lower the back end. And right now it's in its lowest position. Very nice option to have pre-installed. Let's take a quick look at the interior of this truck. Okay, coming inside, power door locks, power seats, memory seats. This is so cool and I love this feature and I really wish other manufacturers would do it as well. That button right there lets me power control that bottom spot mirror. That is amazing to me. I don't know why other manufacturers haven't done it, but to me, that elevates these mirrors to a superior status above Ford and General Motors. Just having the ability to be able to remotely control your spot mirror from the driver's side, that is awesome. If you haven't been able to do that and you have to kind of direct your passenger to fiddle around with the bottom mirror until it's perfect, or if you're by yourself and you have to get out and do it, then hop back in the truck, it's really annoying. But this makes it so much easier. Power seats, power lumbar control. You have a tilting steering wheel, just not a telescoping steering wheel. And then you have the ability to raise or lower your pedals. Your headlighting control here, as well as your rear bed lighting. Beautiful interior though. Again, I just can't say enough about how far Ram has come, really surpassed and is light years ahead of pretty much all the other manufacturers in terms of the interior, both from a quality perspective, materials that they use, as well as from a fit and finish, and just overall look. It is a beautiful, beautiful interior. All the use of storage, you have all your major controls, air conditioning controls, air conditioning controls. Let me turn the truck on so you can see. A little bit more info on this screen. Okay, so you have so many options when it comes to, you know, what you want to do and different settings and different abilities to do things from here. I can lower the bed, I can turn on my auxiliary cameras, which you have connections to plug in auxiliary cameras, my cargo camera, you know, you have the ability to look at all sorts of different types of cameras that are here. I can deploy and retract the steps from here. I have just tons and tons of features that are controllable through this Uconnect system. That's on the good side. So on the negative side, there's tons and tons of features that you have to control from this infotainment system. You have to scroll through things to find what you're looking for. I was looking for my ability to connect my phone to it. And again, I had to scroll through until I found phone and then select that. And again, it just kind of takes your eyes away from the road if you're trying to do any of this at a red light or while you're driving. Of course, connecting your phone, things like that, not a good idea, but like audio settings, you know, trying to get into different features, heated steering wheel. There's just so many options here. And if you're on your climate control screen, Screen. You may have to look at the screen to find which button you have to switch to to get to your apps and then find your app. I think it's beautiful and I think it's the direction all manufacturers are clearly going in terms of, you know, the infotainment system here, but it can be a little overwhelming in terms of driving and being able to get to the control you're looking for. It's not just as easy as feeling for a button that you've learned where it's at because you might learn where something is here, but if you're on the wrong screen and you try to select it, you're going to select the wrong thing. I do it all the time on my smartphone. Beautiful, very well laid out, does a great job, works very well. I just kind of miss more of these buttons and more of these buttons, to be honest with you. You have your USB, USB-C controls here, your cup holder, which slides back. I love this space that they provide for you down here, which is really, really cool. I have my TPMS system in here because we're gonna be hitching up to the fifth wheel eventually. There's a ton of storage under here 
and then even more storage in here. Seats again, very thick and nicely bolstered and a lot of legroom in the back. This is just a very, very well laid out truck. And like I said, I've reviewed a lot of these and every single time I come back to it thinking, man, that is such a beautiful truck. Even, you know, the gauges up front, very, very nicely laid out, looks wonderful. It definitely looks to be, you know, the highest quality as well as the best presentation of any of the full size pickup trucks. And when you sit in this truck, you feel like you've gotten what you paid for. You feel like you're getting the technology, the features, all the things that you want to justify paying for when you pay these really, really high prices for trucks. Speaking of prices, this truck carries an MSRP of $85,275. That includes a lot of stuff. That includes a safety group, which is going to be your lane keeping, your forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control, adaptive steering, your max tow package. That's a $3,695 feature that has your DOT roadside safety kit. So if you're like a hotshot driver and you need your fire extinguisher, stuff like that, you have it. Fifth wheel gooseneck towing prep group, 410 rear axle ratio, which is going to give you your highest towing capacity in this configuration center stoplight with cargo view camera so you can view your cargo while you're going down the road automatic level rear air suspension so that is really cool that is the leveling system for the back that gives you the ability to level your suspension in the back when you're hitched up plus it has the 30,000 pound direct mount fifth wheel hit by Mopar it has the bed utility group which is the lights the deployable bed step and the spray and bed liner has the night edition, which is really cool in a very new package. That's $2,295. Has the power folding black trailer tow mirrors with memory feature, the painted front and rear bumpers, body colored grill, and the 20 by eight inch wheels, which you would get if you didn't have the dually. But because this has the dually, it has the 17 inch dually wheels, plus the black interior accent. Then it has the Laramie Level 2 Equipment Group, ventilated seats, power heated folding memory mirrors, rain sensitive windshield wipers, remote tailgate release, the heated second row seat, memory seats and pedals, 17 speaker Harman Kardon system, Sirius radio, LTE hotspot, you connect with the 12 inch, that's one of the upgrades that's been added. So this doesn't have the 8.4. And here's the one everyone cares about, the 6.7 liter Cummins high output turbo diesel engine. That is probably what everyone wants. The power deploying running boards, and then there they list the 12 inch Uconnect navigation system, dual rear wheels, trailer camera does not have the camera with it and it has dual alternators rated at 440 amps so again $85,275 base price of this truck which would essentially be this package minus all of the equipment options that were added is $53,800 the biggest three that would drop the price down would be the diesel the Laramie level equipment group and the max tow package but there it is five year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty Anyways, guys, that's my quick overview and walk around of this truck. Stay tuned and definitely subscribe if you want to see this truck towing. We're going to hitch it up to the fifth wheel and take the fifth wheel out on a trip just to see how it feels. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, I'd appreciate it if you took a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon.